today I'm going to show you how I use Token Tool to bring tokens and portraits into my Fantasy Grounds campaigns. It can also be used for Roll20 or other virtual tabletop programs. Token Tool is available on the internet by RP Tools. You can search for it and find their link. RP Tools makes a program called Map Tool and Token Tool. It's an easy download, it's a small program, and it's available for a pay what you want model. It's, you can download it for free or you can donate to the developer. When you load Token Tool, it, you're not overwhelmed by options. So say we want to make a barbarian for a new campaign. And we go to our favorite search engine and we find us an image that we're going to use in our personal game session. Let's choose Arnold here. Save him to our desktop. And then you simply drag photo or image into token tools and then resize it according to your output window up here at the top right, which is what your your token or portrait is gonna look like. Now it defaults to two fifty six on the size and I typically leave it at that size. Just do an image resize to the size that you want. But I normally work with two fifty six. So first off we want to create a portrait and we want it to be a square. So we'll use one of the many square options. And, and since it's a portrait we want to get in close. There we go. And let's save out my barbarian. Now we want to make our token. Now our token we're going to want to have a round. Let's go decorated. Let's choose this fancy snake. Now we want to resize him <coughs> to look more tokenish. Alright, we'll use that for a token. Now, we will need to put these into, I'm using Fantasy Grounds in this example, into our program. Now, I have a post shortcut created for Fantasy Grounds location. As you can see, it's users, my name, app data, role name, Fantasy Grounds, and to it's inside the tokens folder. This is where we'll need to put the token temporarily to show it in our example. Now you would want to put the token in a module but that's a topic for another video or you can find out how to do that on the internet. Now we'll go up to the main fantasy grounds inside the main fantasy grounds folder select portraits and add our barbarian portrait to the other portraits available. And then let's run Fantasy Grounds. All right, and we'll create us a character. And this is our portrait. We click on that, and it will show us our new barbarian that we created. And there's our barbarian portrait. Now, 
it auto fills the token spot but that's not the token we want so if we go to our tokens <coughs> into our shared tokens we can then drag our token and there's the token now we have a portrait for our character sheet and we also have a token and there we go we now have a token from pog basically that you could then use on your maps now these are some ones <coughs> that I made from Google pictures uh, using token tools and they're just simple enemy pogs front front pogs that you can zoom by holding down control and mouse wheel and there's there's your character and his enemies and I have a large collection of these that I quickly made about an hour and a half to two hours from pictures from the internet of the various creatures that I wanted and they're in my personal collections and that is how I get tokens into fantasy grounds using token tool hope you've enjoyed this video maybe you got something out of it until next time thank you for watching